Once you've added line items to an estimate, you can modify each item's activity code. While you can change activity codes directly in the item list, we're going to look at the quick entry pad above. Depending on the item, the activity code dropdown will list possible options. These include replace, material and labor to install something new, remove, labor to rip out the item, detach and reset, labor to remove the item, then reinstall that same material at a later time, remove and replace, labor to rip out the item, material and labor to install something new, material, only material costs for the item, install only, only the cost of labor. Each of these options describes what work is being done to the line item for the job. As you change the activity code, note that the unit price for the item will also change accordingly. Not all items will have all the activity codes listed above because not every activity makes sense for all items in the price list. For example, there isn't an option to detach and reset wallpaper because once removed, the same material can't be reinstalled. The same is true for equipment or labor items. You can't charge install only for respirators or protective gloves, and you can't charge material when billing supervisor hours. Regardless of the item you are estimating, choosing the proper activity code that reflects the work being done is an essential part of an accurate estimate. Once you've chosen the proper activity code, remember to click OK and save the changes to the line item and update the totals. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.